Students are not robots, they're people. I feel like in prior experiences, they've been more worried about, you know, academics, 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 and here it's, we're a person first. How do you feel? You know, are you hungry? And then we're gonna worry about the academics and how can we help you? But at the same time, because we can take care of those things, I think that I can hold my students to a higher standard because they are taken care of. We're creating a generation of the next generation of people, like the next generation of thinkers, the next generation of people who will take care of me someday. Every morning I will have 10 fourth graders in my room from last year just trying to say good morning, Miss Esser, and that's all I get from them. It's just a good morning. But they take the time out of their day to come down the hallway, which is in the complete opposite direction of where they need to go. Making those connections with kids and those few kids that I've really pushed, I can see the growth and they've made so much growth that I'm like, go you, you're doing so good. That's my favorite part is that I get to be a part of that and I get to send them off to the next grade ready and they feel ready and they're proud of themselves. It was funny, we were actually talking about collective nouns the other day in reading and I said, all the students in our room collectively are called a, and I left it blank. I said, raise your hand and tell me what you think and they said family. They didn't say class, they said family. And it was really, it was heart touching. It was so sweet. They, I'm not even kidding. I like literally, we cried. Cause we're like, that is not the first word you thought of, class. Like any other person would think students in a class, but our kids say students in a family. That is something that you don't find, I don't think in every school, in every district, like, but that is here. You know, that is what we do. You know, we are here for kids.